Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss how to filter power apps data table using checkbox here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like travel request and inside this I have added different data columns like trip title destination airline requested by approved etc now I would like to bind these values on data table and this is my sr no type column like approved and bind these values on a checkbox control and filter the data table based on the checkbox value to implement this practically go to the power apps here you can see this is my power apps home page and whenever you want to create a blank canvas app just click on the create button then select blank app here choose blank canvas app then click on the create button and provide the app name and here you can see there are two formats are available like tablet and phone you can select which you want then click on the create button now you need to connect the respective SharePoint online list to the power apps for that go to the data section here select the add data and search SharePoint and select SharePoint and here you can choose your respective SharePoint online site like marketing and here you can choose respective SharePoint online list like travel request then click on the connect button now go to the power apps default screen and rename the default screen like now add the data table for that expand the insert tab here search the data table and select data table and make it as alignment properly Here you can see the checkbox control will show the yes or no field values each time the user adds a new field to the power apps data table. However, all checkbox will be checked by defaultly. To resolve this issue, select the checkbox field and make it as text to property as blank. Now you will get the respective SharePoint online list as or no field values like this. Now I would like to filter this data table records based on the checkbox selected value. For that insert a checkbox control. And set its text to property like. Then rename the checkbox control like Then select the data table and set its items property like Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like travel request and this is my yes or no field approved Once your app is ready just save and publish the app Then go to the preview section. When the user selects or checks the is approved checkbox control, the data table will display filter records like only checked values. And if user uncheck the checkbox value, it will display only filter values like based on the not approved values. Next I will show you how to filter power apps data table using multiple checkbox controls. For that I am using my another SharePoint online list like project tracker and inside this I have added different columns like description, assign it to status, start date, end date etc. Now I would like to add the status fields on a checkbox control and filter the data table based on the status selected value. For that go to the power apps. 
and you should remember whenever you want to filter the SharePoint online list, you must connect it to the Power Apps. For that, go to the Data section. Here, select the Add Data and select SharePoint. And select your respective SharePoint online site. Then select your respective SharePoint online list like Project Tracker. then select connect button now you need to add another blank screen now insert three checkbox controls and set its text property like and rename the checkbox controls now set the on select property of three checkbox controls like Here you can see this is my global variable like global filter projects. Now select the app object then go to the on start property here create the collection. Next you need to select the run on start button to get the created collection. Now insert a data table. then set its items property like here you can see this is my collection name like collection projects this is the global variable like global filter projects now you need to add the respective fields on a data table for that select the data table and here select the edit field option and select the add field and choose your respective SharePoint online fields now go to the preview section here you can see if the user select the in progress checkbox control the data table will filters and display in progress records and if the user select another checkbox control like completed the data table will display only filter the completed records but it should be not like this to overcome this issue set the variables to the all checkbox controls for that go to the app object and set its on start property like you can see where not started and where in progress and where completed these are the variables which i have to used in the checkbox control now select the three checkbox control and set its default properties like
then set its on checks property here you can see this is my variable name like where not started is true then reset the another checkbox control similarly set the on check property of another text box controls here where not started variable is false then reset the another checkbox controls here also where not started variable is false then reset the checkbox controls once your app is ready just save and publish the app now go to the preview section now select the any checkbox control like in progress the data table will filter only in progress records and if you select another checkbox control like not started then the data table filters and display each record from the collection based on the checkbox selected value yes friends this is all about how to filter power apps data table using checkbox I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online power apps and power automate. I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online power apps, power automate and power bi. Thank you.